Hi guys, welcome to this ugly ass channel. I came across the 16 personalities test. I thought why the hell not doing this on camera because I don't know if anyone out there would like to get to know me, but there's always a possibility, so she wants my cake. Hmm. Let's do this. Take a personality and I really Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Let's talk about this. So I think, um, no. <laughs> I would like to enjoy it. Most of the time I'm alone. I'm not around other people. I mean, right now, during this uh, corona thingy going on, obviously, everyone is staying at home, hopefully, you do that. But my lifestyle hasn't changed at all. The corona lifestyle is literally my lifestyle. So... What do I answer? The middle would be neutral, right? Or I don't know. I mean, I enjoy going to concerts sometimes. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. I don't even know this word, but I'm so lazy to look it up. But I think uh, I get the main point of this. Yeah, I, I, I would say, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than detailed itinerary. I don't know this word. I don't travel. I mean, nobody travels right now, but I don't travel. Sometimes I visit friends in Berlin, but that's maybe once or twice a year, but except for that, I don't travel. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. I don't have much conversation. <laughs> I mean, I refuse to have certain conversations, but the thing is, when I'm having a conversation with other people, I force myself to talk. I mean, I'm searching for topics I could talk about with that person. Most of the time I feel really uncomfortable, but I cover this uncomfortableness, is this a word? Probably not. With a smile and i think that's why people are really surprised that i am the way that i am when i'm not around people so when i'm around people i always smile and um, laugh a lot if your friend is sad about something your first instinct is to support them emotionally not try to solve their problem i think i could never solve a problem of other human beings because i can't even solve my own fucking problems so i hate this you really worry if you made a good impression on someone you met i mean i don't mean <laughs> I'm such a loser. I hate first impressions. I just want to feel comfortable around humans, but I don't. Let me disagree this. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. I kind of spent my whole life all by myself. Sometimes I get bored. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. I hate these questions. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. I'm a really empathetic person, I would say. You often find it difficult. No, then I disagree. When in a group of people, you do not... We only have 30% yet. Oh. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. So then I would say disagree, because just imagine the situation. There's a random group of people that I don't know, and I'm just like joining their conversation and be like, what's up? That would never happen. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Last week, my dream was about a shelf out of glass, and there was a shark in the living room without water. So that was really... I don't know. And then I killed the shark. I was really sorry about that. But he was about to bite me. And I was really scared of, you know, dying. Then, for no reason, I was putting the shark on the glass shelf in, like, a box, I think. Which was also made of glass. And then suddenly, the shark was transforming to my cat. So I killed my cat. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Huge disagree. This is the worst thing for me to hurt people. That's why I refuse to meet people and stuff. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Well, if this would be the case, I wouldn't sit here living with my parents with an age of 26. This is so much. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. I'm reading a book right now about philosophy and stuff. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. I mean, I cry a lot. I don't know. This is a weird question. I would probably run away and then cry on my own somewhere in a corner or... I don't know. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. I mean, I'm not discussing it with other people, but in my head, I'm discussing a lot with myself. 
So, huge agree. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. I think I'm a person which cannot really um, differ. Is this a word, differ? Between head and heart? I don't know if my heart is working. <laughs> Let's choose the middle because I'm confused. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. I never had such a situation in my life. But I think... When someone really, really, truly hurts my feelings and then try to apologize, I think I will forgive. Because I think whenever there is a reason to apologize to me, I mean this person needs to deal with me. You know? You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. I'm always this person. You know, when I end a movie, when there's... um space for interpretation i always end up thinking about it a lot and then you know google the movie and start reading um theories of the meaning and stuff like that you always know exactly what you want i mean even though i know that singing is the most important thing in my life i don't really know what i want because um to be honest I don't make sense. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, it's a huge challenge for me to have a daily routine and I hate that. I mean, in case that some of you or just one of you wondered um, how I can afford sitting here, I'm having my own business, kind of, it's just, business is such a huge word. I'm just cutting other people's videos so for youtube so i'm my own boss and i'm not a good boss so always end up not you know having that daily routine this is so exhausting you know i'm six since four weeks now and since four weeks i'm not singing i love my life Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in the need of getaway. And this is a point that I can totally uh, agree to because uh, whenever I'm on social events around other human beings, it really uh, takes away a lot of my energy and I'm really happy to go home after words you frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life i would rather like to live in a past where all this social media thingy wouldn't exist i guess in a world without social media i would be not that broken that i am right now oh that's it your personality type is mediator I don't really have the energy to read all of this. So that's it. Right now I'm not really able to record covers because I'm still sick. If you have any ideas of other videos I could record, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel.